Good morning. I am trying a slightly different area of the farm to see if the reception is any better. So fingers crossed. How is everyone today? And we are coming towards the end of our breathe, bathe or both challenge. Um, and hopefully you've learned a lot from our um, breathing sessions. Got some new ideas. Started to kind of maybe open your mind up to the fact that you have power over your own chemistry and it's just a case of practice and really practicing on your own body because what do we know about the body is the body wants to stay the same the conscious mind wants to stay here stay the same stay in the comfort zone that's just the way it is we don't really fully understand <laughs> I don't think anybody does but the body wants to stay the same and when we utilize the power of our free will which a lot of the time we're just not using, we're functioning through the programme, we're functioning through the past, we're busy, we're distracted. Um, so we just do what we always did. At the same time, the same cup, the same way we shower, all of that stuff, we're not really ever switching it up and putting the body through its paces. And that's how we get old. <laughs> because we keep doing what we've always done so we'll keep getting what we always got and when you're on a trajectory or from here on a slope which is like right this is it now I've got a sore back I was talking to my brother about this about his knees you know at what age did you start thinking that you're not going to get better that these things are not going to heal themselves it's mad when you think about it of course they can but if you're not putting in the bri the building bricks to repair all the things that the body as it starts to get older and it starts to wear out just like anything that's been on the planet with gravity and oxygen um we have to actually actively go right do you know what I, now i'm in this process i can override the past i can start thinking about new things feeling new feelings i can change my behaviors i can change how i respond and react all of that is within my power. I am full of power. And that's the, the narrative that comes from the, the crazies is that you're powerless and they, you need them to tell you what to do because you don't have the intelligence or the emotional intelligence or sense to understand what to do for yourself and your family. I mean, it's bonkers where we're at. It really is. But... Also within that, it's really exciting, all the new information that's coming out about neuroscience and neuroplasticity and heart math, which is just, I'm looking at doing another course with them. The power of the, the heart, the magnetic resonance that comes from the heart. And, you know, the exercise that I'm practicing just now is just going into love, feeling love. And if somebody's coming at me with negative stuff, that I just go into love. I go into love. You know, I, I like a lot of people, I'm obsessed with health and how you can change and be and move out of suffering. That's the main thing. It's not about not dying. It's about how can we be here every day without suffering? And the breath, obviously, and the cold are two really simple, very powerful, three things that you can do to change your chemistry, to change your electromagnetic field. And we have the technology to measure that. I can actually see in our HRV how much electricity you're giving off and when we dim and then when we brighten again. And it's all on a day-to-day -day basis. We're doing that fluctuating, but we're doing it unconsciously, mindlessly. We're not present. We're not, we're not understanding. And sometimes we accidentally feel good. <laughs> And now this is about like, okay, we can actually choose to feel differently because we're chasing that feeling. I want to feel like that. Whether you're taking plants, whether you're taking wine, whether you're taking marijuana, it doesn't really matter. Whether you're chasing another partner, another, you know, another person to help you. When you think about it, all you want to do is to feel a certain way. And the big cosmic joke is that you have the power to feel any way you choose when you understand and I totally get if you're down in apathy and really physically unwell and in pain, etc. That can be a very challenging concept to believe. But if you can open the mind to the possibility, what if I am powerful? What if I can change how I feel? What if I can be in much higher states, frequencies? What if, what would it take 
you know, so the language that you use, instead of, oh, it's a nightmare, or oh, I'm knackered, or oh, this is rubbish, me, 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 blame, complain, shame. When you're in that state, you will bring your own vibration down, and probably everybody else around you as well. So we really need to start taking responsibility, if we can, if it is within our power, to change how we feel and change what we're resonating out into this quantum soup of energy. So let's do some breathing and let's get our vibrations up. Um, it's the weekend and it's up to us taking responsibility back, moving from victim to master to go, I am fed up feeling that I, I'm, I have no control over this, that everything happens to me when in actual fact it could I could change my perception and it's all about percep percep perception shifting with money penny. It's all about perception shifting. So we're going to shift the perception. So if you have somebody in your life right now that pisses you off, probably somebody, think about them right now. And then I'm going to get you to think about them again at the end of this exercise and see if they've changed. Because when you start to let go really consciously and really breathe with a clear intention, right, I'm going to put love at everything. What would love do? It would vibrate out and it would impact and influence everyone and everything around me. Well, why wouldn't you try it? Just for a laugh anyway. The worst thing that can happen is that your cells go into tune, you get a connection and you start to feel a lot better. So let's do it. So we're just going to breathe Imagine that the as you, as you breathe in, it comes down and then it goes out like a vase. So you're trying to breathe down deep into the bottom of the vase. And the belly comes up and you fill in and the alveoli that come from the lungs all interconnects and the body's like, yes, she, he's alive. So breathing in all the way down into the chest into the head and then let it all go okay just nice and slowly into the belly chest head and let it all go let it all go let it all go use your ye into the belly chest head and let it all go belly, chest, head, and let it all go, belly, chest, head, and let it all go, belly, chest, head, and let it all go, See the cells getting lighter, more expanded, brighter. Feel yourself going into tune. Belly, chest, head, and let it all go. Unhook your talons from the past, from the programme, from the stories, and let it go just for now. Belly, chest, head, and let it go. Okay, this time we're going to breathe all the way in and then we're going to hold it. So breathe all the way in and hold. And observe. And feel. Expand, release. Come on. And now let it go. Let everything that no longer serves you just let it all go. Come on. 
feel the courage to release. We're all holding on like this, stressing the body out and then just let go. Let go and let the divine consciousness run through every microtubule, every cell, every cell membrane, expand it and let go. Okay, and just feel. How does the body feel? How's that person looking now? You can check in after every breath and say, oh, okay, have they changed? Is the perception shifted? Let me see. Hmm, maybe a little bit. So let's do some more breathing. This time we're going to switch up the pace of the breath. And we're going to go a little bit faster and then we're going to go right up to kind of breath of fire if you're not familiar with that where it's <laughs> but we'll start off slower get faster and then we'll do the retention on the out breath and then we'll bring it all up and we'll squeeze it into the brain and then we'll again consciously let it all go okay so breathing in Now you can breathe in through the mouth if you want more force, more stress, more of the good stress. So, or, And we're going to speed it up. And we'll keep going, keep going, keep going. And we're going to speed it right up so it's... All the way in and all the way out. And hold it there. Feel. Observe the chemistry changes. Maybe your body temperature's changed, maybe you're tingling. Maybe there's a slight ringing in your ears. Just allow it all. Trust and surrender to this process. Feel the courage. Feel the power. You are so full of power. And we're just waking up to that power. And the breath holds are a powerful way to see. So allow the cells to rearrange themselves. And in three, two, one, we're going to breathe in from the base of the spine. All the way up through the heart, through the neck. And squeeze into the pineal gland, which is in there, in the middle. See it and squeeze that energy into it. Feel the energy move up the spine into your brain. You are the alchemist. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. And then let it go. Let it all go. Let it all go. And just some nice, free, easy breaths. Just observe and feel. Give the body 
the sails some peace. Take your attention now to your heart. And think of somebody you love unconditionally. It could be a pet, a child, your partner. It could be the divine. It could be a place, something that you just love. Feel that vibration of gratitude. Allow yourselves to expand into these higher states of being. Fill your heart with gratitude and feel that frequency vibrate out into the field. You are the medicine, you are the power, you are full of power. Allow that love to flow out to everybody in Scotland and beyond. Everybody needs some love at this time. Allow that frequency to dissolve all fear, anxiety, wondering, trying to figure it out, waiting, taking things personally. Just let it all go now. Set yourselves free. Let go. Let go. Oh, hi, Louise. <laughs> Send that love frequency out into the field, into every cell in that incredible, magnificent body of yours. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, make that your, ch join me in the challenge of consciously, when you feel anger or rage or judgment, go into the heart and feel the love. Hi Fiona. We have that power and it's just a case of remembering, remember what it is that you want to beam out to the world. Be the change. We know what we want. We want people to live in harmony. It seems impossible with the chaos that's going on and all the mental stuff. But really, if we take it back to us, what can we do? The most powerful, important thing we can do is to beam these higher levels of frequency. That's all it is. It's the scale. It's the vibration. It's an energetic universe that looks pretty solid and material. But we're now realising we have this capacity to become more wave than particle. And that is the perception shift. You are the power, you're the alchemist, you're the medicine and you're powerful. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Have a wonderful day and weekend. I may see you tomorrow. It depends what's going on here at the farm. Huge love. Beam it out. Let me know, share the videos, share the love, share the word, share Heal Scotland's events, etc. Spread it on, pass it on, pay it forward. Bye.